welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young, and if you're new here, thanks for joining. Today I'm gonna to be showing you another step-by-step -step fantasy world on this 11 by 14 black primed canvas. So I'll post all of the colors and brushes I'm using today for this painting down in the description below this video. I'm really excited to show you this one. It's gonna be full of tropical vibes. There's gonna be a little moon with some clouds around, a deep purpley sunset, some palm trees on the side, a big wave, uh, all surrounded by foliage in a nice little oval. Don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment below if you found this inspiring or helpful in any way, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all of you for helping my little art channel grow. So for this painting you will need a large flat brush. This is a number 11. The colors you will need are lemon yellow, titanium white, sap green, phthalo green, ultramarine blue or cobalt, black, phthalo blue, and magenta. If you don't have magenta, you can use quinacridone violet or light purple neon violet. I'm working on my resin artist palette that I made. If you guys are curious, I'll have a link below in the description uh, for a tutorial of mine, and then you can make one for yourselves. They're very practical, easy to clean, and it's a great way to repurpose and recycle an old painting or canvas that you may have lying around. We're gonna begin with cobalt blue or ultramarine blue. I'm gonna take just a little bit of white with that, just so that it shows up nicely on this black canvas. We're gonna go around and start our nice oval shape. Now if you find it hard to spread heavy bodied acrylic paint, you can pick up just a little bit of water. You definitely don't want your brush to be dripping though, otherwise that means you have too much. Let's take a little bit more white now, start going inside. Take some more of that cobalt. We've got a nice, pretty, rich blue color. I'm gonna take white with a little bit of phthalo blue now and start coming in kind of halfway over the cobalt blue or ultramarine. Making it lighter inside. I'm going to take a little bit more white this time. Now I want you to continuously make little circles or ovals without letting your brush off of the canvas. And a little bit more blue. Wash my brush off now. I'm going to take a little mop brush, get some white paint on it, a little bit of the cobalt blue, and I'm going to start creating little puffy clouds. It a little bit darker up here, so I'm going to add some more blue. Okay, just a little bit like that. Back to my flat brush, it's a little bit damp. I'm going to barely touch these clouds. 
and just soften. Take a little bit more blue here. Start to go inside, make little circles, and then just some little lines right down here. Make it look like those clouds are spreading across the sky, down towards the water. It makes them look farther away. Take a little bit more blue and come right inside this cloud. And a little bit more inside this one. So we're making lots of different tones for our clouds. A little bit right in here. Let's take a little bit of white now on a filbert brush. Any size will do. And let's stick our moon right here. So you're going to place your brush in one spot, push and twist around. You can go ahead and do that again until you get the nice shape that you want. Now because we're painting wet on wet, it's not going to look bright white yet, it's still a little bit see-through and you can see the blue underneath and that's okay. We want to work with this right now. Just wash off my brush, dry it off. I'm going to go carefully around the outside creating a little bit of a ring, making it slightly smaller. I'm going to take a little round brush. So this is a little round brush, it's kind of pointy on the end. It's almost like a, a liner brush and a round brush mixed. It's a number one. I'm gonna take white with some of this magenta, roll it and twist it around on the tip of my brush. We're gonna start coming in and doing little wiggles on the outside of some of our clouds. Take a little bit more white if it's not showing up. Roll and twist. Now if your hand is really shaky, like mine is right now, that's okay. You'll get a, a nice, natural looking cloud because they're not perfect little wiggles on there. They're gonna be a little misshapen in some areas. some right in here and then go right inside and then back out. Pick up some more paint. And then you can even just add some just floating around right there. Then you can make some thicker ones, maybe add some more pink to your brush. And make a pretty purpley color. Because that paint is still wet underneath. Now you can use a liner brush for this if you want. Um, I just find this one works really well because I can push it and make it thicker in areas when I want to and then let off where I want it to be a lot finer in detail. And then say like right there, we just want to lighten this up a little bit. You can just tap with your finger. Create some little scoops like this. 
or some more dimension in your clouds. Okay, now I want to take some more of this light ultramarine blue, white, magenta, and I want to add some little clouds down in here, off in the distance. Let's add even thicker magenta right underneath. Let's make this really pop out. It'll dry a little bit darker over that blue. Maybe we can add a layer of it over up here on that blue. That'll look really pretty. Put it coming right in here. Little pop of that magenta. And I'm going to take some white, a little bit of water on my brush, a little bit more of the pink or magenta, and switch out back over to my flat brush and soften, soften, soften. Dark, dark blue. Get this all nice and dark again. And pull and drag in to the sky and towards the water. Gonna take a little bit of pink. A little bit more like this. And go make a ring around the outside of this moon. And soften. Take a little bit of my Ultramarine blue and white mixed. And add a little bit of a halo around the moon that color. Scumble just a little bit of that out just to lighten this area here. So we create more light and dark areas. I'm going to take white, push my brush flat like this, and carefully go around. Adding that sun there, or the moon I mean, making this moon a little bit brighter and a smoother shape like that. And what I'd like to do is just tint it with a little bit of this lemon yellow. And this is uh, a Marteza. So it's just a little lemon chiffon color. And just very lightly, this just gives a nice tint to our, our moon. We're not trying to make it look like a sun by any means, but can add more white and see how it looks as it dries. If it do, if it looks a little bit too uh, yellow, then you can just go over with some white. So right down in this area here, we're going to add some ripples and reflection in the water. I'm going to use that same color that I just used for the moon, and right here, slide your brush. Barely touch the canvas. 
a little reflection just like that. I'm going to take some of our phthalo green now. A little bit of white in there. Just a little bit so that it shows up nice. Push it onto the tip of your brush. Right here. Right in here. Pick up a little bit more of that white and yellow. Add some more there. And straight phthalo green. Right here, it's going to be dark. Just like that. And then right here. Where we're going to have our little mountain with some palm trees. And there's a little shadow right in here on the water. So just pull, drag. Okay, I'm ready to start my little mountain here. So I want to take that same yellow, a little bit of sap green, and a little bit of black. Right on number nine. Filbert brush, and we're just going to go push right up to that phthalo green. We want this to be a little bit darker in some areas. I'm going to get a little bit more black. Just a little bit. Don't need very much at all. Flatten my brush back out. Pull and wiggle. Get some black on the tip there. And go over. Lightly pulling and dragging so that we get some darker spots. And then right across the bottom. In fact, let's put a little bit more there across the bottom to make this stand out a little bit better. There we go. There's our little mountain, our little island. Some black right in here. Then let's just go ahead. I'm going to use this same filbert brush. I like using the filbert for making pondries. I'm going to push and flatten and wiggle so I can make a skinny line with it. And let's put a little palm tree right there. And maybe one right there. Pull and flick over. Wiggle and get some more paint on my brush. Now it's, it's in silhouette, so you don't have to worry about doing a whole bunch of highlights or anything. A little flick. Just a couple like that. You could have a little, a little one down here if you wanted. You might want to use a smaller brush when you get down in here. Okay. Okay, we'll leave that now. I'm just going to add Maybe a little bit of green down in here. We're going to have our oval coming around like this. And we're going to start our wave down. Taking a clean brush, I'm still going to use this filbert brush. 
phthalo green and some white. Cross underneath this dark line. Take a little bit of water. And add a little bit right down in here. And I'm going to slide my brush. This will be the little, the base of the wave shore coming into the shore down in here pick up a little bit of white a little bit of yellow make a nice yellowy green color and just slide make some little lines in the water like that now let's get that color again a little bit more white this time And we're going to just use the tip of our brush and start tapping a little down, up, down, and then we're just going to go right down, leave a little line in there, and then back up. And that will be the shape. The wave is going to be curling over here. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush. Right under here. Right under this line. Pull. Sweep. Pull and sweep. Not right down to the bottom though. It's going to get darker in there. Just like that. I want to go to uh, number three round brush. I'm going to take my phthalo green, no water, just straight green. I'm going to go and do a little line right down here. Curve and pull up. I want it to be nice and dark right in here. So this area down here. Imagine it's like a little triangle almost. Just like that. And then we can have even a little bit of black right in here. Maybe there's some rocks. This wave is hitting some rocks. You can add a little bit of black and phthalo blue now. Make this even darker, right in there, and then pull and sweep, light little sweeps. Add some rocks right over here. In fact, let's take some, let's change the color of these rocks. Bring in some magenta, yellow, black, blue, and green. A little bit more of that magenta. And there's a little bit of a light coming from that moon. Take a little bit more yellow. Just add a few little flecks right there. Act like this is a palette knife. Turn it over. Barely touch the canvas and drag. Just for a few little highlights on that island. And add a nice shadow and contrast. Just doing little, little bubbles, half circles. And we'll leave that flat right there. Maybe add some right in here. Of 
clean brush, any brown brush. I'm gonna add the little peak, barely touching that canvas. Don't worry about a shaky hand. Actually take a little bit of my phthalo green, a little bit of white, and right, let's just give a little bit of color right in there. Loosen this paint up out of my brush a little bit with some water. Pick up a little bit more white. A little bit of right in here before we do our, our the rest of our wave. A little bit down here. Pick up some more white. Now let's bring it down like this, it's just curling and sweeping right into here. Maybe we've got some phthalo blue and phthalo green color right in here. And we'll just do little, little lines. Take a little bit of white, a little bit of lemon yellow. Tint it with a bit of that light green we made earlier. A little bit of water to help loosen that color out of that paint out of our brush. And maybe we have some little lines in here. some highlights on these rocks. Pick up some more green. Some more phthalo. And let's start coming in. And pick up a little bit of that white. And these little lines that you get. When that wave is curling over. turquoise right underneath right underneath this white it's got a little bit more phthalo green there we go and maybe we'll have some sand down here some yellow, magenta, make a soft sand kind of a color right here, and just dust a little bit back and forth. You can pull and flick like this, make it look like that water's kind of pulling back in. 
off the shore. Kind of helps draw you in here. Do a little bit. The bottom of my ease is kind of in the way right now, but you guys get the idea. Just pull a little bit of this phthalo blue in here because it's so pretty. Towards the outside. Maybe a little bit more of that phthalo green. A little bit white. Now we're going to work on the wave curling over. Now because my brush is doing this, I'm going to wiggle it, wiggle it into the phthalo green, help spread those out a little bit more. And you can get it a bit wet too. I'm going to go right right here, curve, pull, and then turn up this way. Now you can't see very much yet, but we're going to take some white, let, it, let the bristles kind of separate into little sections like that so we have some lines on the top. You don't want to go over this dark line. You want a dark line first and then right underneath it line it and pull. Pull over and then it's going to go up an angle like that. Grab some more white tip of my brush keep a nice and bright white right here and then tap for a little splash I want to get some more green on my brush. Go right in there. Right underneath. Oh. A little bit of black. Get back this dark shadow under there. Flatten this out a little bit. You want some lines, so you can just take another brush and pull. Okay, so now I'm going to use uh, another filbert brush and I'm going to just go over to this light or the ultramarine blue and make light ultramarine blue like this. A little bit more white. Tap out the excess. Just gonna add a little bit right in here. Take a little bit of phthalo blue. A little bit. I just feel like I need a little bit more of this color in here. So I'm gonna blend it around. Put just a little bit of it in here. I just really like how all these blues look together and I want to add a little bit more of a dry brush. Very, very softly, barely touch that canvas. Get the light, soft scumble. Right in there. Okay, that looks better. Happier with that. And we're going to work on this area a little bit more. 
I want to add some dark phthalo green lines in here. So I'm just going to go over, pull, pull, just a few spots. Got a little bit more tiny waves down here, a little bit more movement. Around this rock. Now this is the smallest mop brush that I have right now and I might even have to kind of squish it like this. Sometimes I do this to get in where I need to. This wave crashing down here is going to have a color, a shadow color like this. So that's going to be the light ultramarine blue. So I'm taking white. With that I'm going to tap it, tap the two together. I'm going to get quite a bit. And starting to clump like this, that's exactly what you want to happen. I'm going to start tapping right about that dark line. And then right in here. Go up like that. Let's take a little bit more of that blue and why not pull and drag a little bit, wiggling slightly just off to the side that like that it looks really pretty. And maybe a little bit in here too. Maybe even a little bit of that magenta. A little bit of magenta, white. Wash my brush out. I switch over to my large flat brush now, and I'm just going to soften a little bit of this, make it look kind of blurry. Take a little bit more blue on the corner of my brush, push and tap. Got to get this dark shadow back again, so I'm going to take black, blue, wiggle, push so I have lots on the tip there. Come in right here, pull underneath, tap right in there. And we'll put a little rock right there. Maybe take some yellow, magenta, maybe there's a few rocks here too. Get some black on there. Just do some little, little lumps like that, little blobs. So now we're going to have our oval that comes up like this. Back to another filbert. Now I'm going to take white, a little bit of pink, a little bit of that yellow, mostly white though. Get quite a bit on there. And we're just going to start adding some pretty little highlights. some more on there so I've got quite a bit I want to make sure that I have lots on my brush each time I do this
Make it a little bit more here. Whoa, that yellow. A little sure goes a long way with that. I don't think I want that much. Plus it's gonna dry darker. Well, if this is too yellow, I can always add some white over top. on there again. It's really thick paint. So you feel that texture. little dabs right in here. I just tap with my fan brush. Pull and sweep. Some little mist flying up there. Tap some dabs, little dabs for little bits of little bits of water. I'm gonna get a really really small liner brush, the smallest one that I've got. So this one right here, if you guys can see, it's really tiny, really fine. So I can do a little bit of detail, a few little lines in here. I'm gonna get my brush wet, and I'm gonna take. A little bit of this white in here, some water. You want it to be able to flow nicely out of your brush. And we're just gonna barely touch the canvas, wiggle and pull in, wiggle and pull in. If you pick up a little bit of black, or blue that's okay because there's also some little shadows shadow colors in there too pick up a little bit more green that dark again in there. Oh, and now I'm starting to imagine maybe there's just a little waterfall way back there on that island. So I'm just mixing up a bunch of colors: yellow, blue, green, white. Maybe you can you can barely see it, but maybe there's just a little bit of moonlight. Just a little bit like that. Barely anything. A little waterfalls coming down like that. And then the rest of that paint, just put in here. I'm 
and go on with the highlight on some of these rocks. Okay, so now I want to make a purpley color. So I'm going to take white, find a clean spot on my palette, magenta, a little bit of blue. There's a good color right there. And I want to start adding some right in here. Pushing and tapping. Now this will work better if you wait for your canvas to dry a little bit. I'm going to sneak some right in here. Take a magenta and blue using the ultramarine blue. And add some nice purple, darker purple shadows in here. So I'm getting quite a bit on my brush. Right down in there. Maybe a little bit. A little bit in here. And maybe we can tie in some of that color in this rock a little bit. I'm going to use my favorite brush that I'm just calling the mystery brush now. And I'm going to take black and sap green. Tap the two together. What we're creating is the feeling like we're in a cave. And we're looking, we're looking out of our little moss covered oasis cave. We can add a little bit of white and yellow. Let's tap out the excess and add a little, little indication that this is here. Tap it right into that black and green. And grab a little bit more black liner brush start creating little little branches or little vines in here Just going to switch over to another mop brush and take a bit of black, a little bit of yellow. And by taking black and yellow, you make green. 
Most of you probably know that already, but just in case you didn't. Push into the white a little bit, some more yellow. And we've got some, a little bit more light coming in right here from that moon. Okay, we don't wanna to do too much light because we really want the focal point to be the light that's going on inside of here. I'm going to just balance out. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to add a little bit of black. Little taps of black like that. And I just want to do the tiniest, tiniest little flecks of highlights on these trees just because there was some light everywhere else so it makes sense that there would be a little bit of light as well there. I'm going to add just a little bit more, just about done, add a little bit more of my blue. Here. A little bit more. There. It was just a little bit too white in there, and I wanted a little bit more of a shadow. Just a tiny bit in there. Bring back this little ripple here at the shore. Yellow and white. Just a few little lines dragging your brush. Create that nice little oval. We've got some foliage behind it. And in front of it. And then it just kind of disappears amongst all this foliage down here. A little bit of black. Just to make it look like there's some something kind of in front of this a little bit. Make it look a little 3D. Just little taps. Little taps. blue right in here. 
just the yellow blue. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Okay guys, so this painting is all done. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I really like how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed my process and you learned a lot of tips and techniques. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment below, please subscribe to my channel. I wanna wish you guys a wonderful day. Happy painting and I'll see you next time very soon. Bye for now.